Armored Core Law, The Wednesday Agency, or Doomsday Organization. Deadly research and the resources to create a superweapon? This is the Doomsday Organization known as the Wednesday Agency. History While no one has claimed to be the leader of this group, what we do know is that this organization set up home in Amber Crown, a city built during the early stages of the plan to aid with humanity's population issue. The city itself was quite far from Isaac City, making it not really a focus point for the corporations, as the city's buildings began to deteriorate, forcing the creation of closed areas within the city and most of the city's population into slums. However, while there is no official date of creation, it's during this period that the Wednesday Agency, or better known to many as the Doomsday Organization, started to move into these closed areas. They said it was for research purposes, however the public of Amber City had little to say in the matter, as soon this group seemed to have control over the city, and anyone who got in their way vanished or ended up dead. It may seem a little strange seeing as Chrome and Murakuma were very focused on gaining power at the time to let a city fall into the hands of another. However, there was a reason. While unknown at the time, this group had the backing of corporations. The educated guess is that Chrome and Murakuma both had vested into this group, and that is why they left the city to this group, as to not interfere with their investment. This would be brought up later in Armored Core Project Phantasma, with even some direct action by one of these corporations. However, before that, the year this group's activity caused tension would be in ED-0156, where a raven would be hired by an unknown party to help deal with his organization and shut them down. Driven by the money or a need to kill, this raven, who is believed to be the raven from Isaac City, who would years later take down Nineball and the AI, said to be guiding humanity to a better future, would head out to Amber City at once. The Wednesday Agency, as already stated, seemed to have control over the city, with the MTs and defenses opening fire on the raven on approach. These defenses, however, proved to be useless against the raven, who would knock out the energy to the city before moving on to their next mission from the unknown party. This next mission, however, would prove to be a trap set up by the Doomsday Organization to capture the group that was disrupting their plans. This, however, does not go well for them either, as another raven by the name of Stinger comes in, killing the supposed rescue target of the raven before commenting about how he wants the project and how he hates people getting in his way. It's from this scene that it's clear there seems to be an internal dispute happening within this organization. With this raven after the project from the group, however, they are not willing to give this project up, putting the two at odds. Yet this raven's goals and relationship to the Wednesday Agency would switch back and forth as time goes on. For the Doomsday Organization, however, things would not get any better, as after this blunder and their city now under the threat of this raven, the group, however, seemed to keep going with their project, as their next encounter with the raven from Isaac City would be in the mission Raid the Laboratory, which sees the Raven tear through the security force in one of their many laboratories before taking a prisoner who was to be used in their project. The group do try to stop this, however their forces are swept aside, leaving the group with more loss of lives and a very large repair bill. Another blunder and now a major part of their research taken, the organization however does not focus on recapturing their subject, instead they move straight on ahead with their project, which is now learned to be named Project Phantasma. It's from here the Wednesday Agency or Doomsday Organization and the Raven would now clash again and again, with each mission showing the real scale of what this group had, with their own military complex, shipping lanes, evaluation station, as well as guards for each of these. The funding for this group must rival that of any corporation, and with the Raven from Isaac City stomping on each base, even going as far to take a VIP hostage, it seems this group was starting to fall apart, as was the trust between them and their corporation sponsors. If all this was not enough, however, it seems Stinger, the only raven who seemed to be helping this group, would start to face defeat after defeat as well, driving the raven further and further from the Doomsday Organization and his desire for Project Phantasma to grow as well. In the end, this group would face a large blow when after all this, the raven from Isaac City and his support would raid the supposed headquarters of them. After obtaining more information on the project and starting to flee, the base would then be bombed by unmarked bombers, and para-MTs would also drop in to clean up. An attack from their own sponsor, who seemed to want to wipe out the Wednesday Agency and their research. In truth, it was a clean-up operation to make sure there was nothing left to tie this group to them. The remains of the group after this would flee to the North Highland base, the last stronghold for this group, and where the first showing of the group's work, Project Phantasma, would be seen. 
This crashed yellow paint showing itself clear in the white land of snow, with Stinger piloting it. The battle, however, did not go in the group's favor, as Stinger, after the project is heavily damaged, flees with it, leaving the group behind. While it is never shown in Armored Core Project Phantasma, in Armored Core Nexus, a remake of this mission is shown where after Stinger flees, the group seems to make a final stand as they send out two other Project Phantasmas, only these would be later be marked as prototypes, and their destruction would mark the end of this group. It's here Stinger would take the project and flee, leaving the Raven to give chase, but as for the Doomsday Organization, their end had come, and it is unknown if any members who remained either went into hiding or were killed during the cleanup operations of the Raven and Sumika. So in the end, this is really all we know about this organization, large enough to have their own army, and yet needing the money of several corporations to keep going with their research. The Wednesday Agency, or Doomsday Organization, no matter how they were known, was like many groups at the time. They were used by corporations, and when they got what they wanted from this group, they were simply thrown aside, and left to deal with a rogue raven and a pair of mercenaries who wanted to see it all come to an end. To finish this report, a quick look over what their project was all about. Project Phantasma was a top secret development project geared towards creating a new type of weapon system. It was designed to integrate humans into new weapons, being very similar to Human Plus in a way, which is what strongly suggests that Murakuma and Chrome would fund this as both had a reason for this research to be done. However, unlike Human Plus, it can be argued this project had far more drastic changes to the users of this system, as shown by Stinger, who fused with the project. It seemed to drive him into a state of believing himself to be unkillable, and become more aggressive than usual. However, when he is defeated by the Raven, it shatters this and the man dies in disbelief, even questioning the project like it would have an answer to his desperate question. It is best to describe Project Phantasma as a yellow-coloured craft, shaped like a sea creature or an aeroplane, with two non-movable arms with metal hands. The craft is also equipped with a machine gun on its front and vertical missiles on its back. This is, however, only a description of the prototype Phantasma, as after Stinger merges with the craft, it becomes red in colour and gains a lot more armour. It also increases its weapons loadout, with laser weapons that allow it to fire off in all directions, making this Phantasma a much tougher foe, and could be said what the project was meant to produce. With that, this ends the report on the group known as the Wednesday Agency or the Doomsday Organization. Armored Core Lore, the story of Armored Core Project Phantasma.